Hey guys, Christian here from RGB. Today I've got my iPhone 11 Pro. I did have the iPhone 7 um, uh, Plus. The images on that were good, but I just thought I'd wait till I get the 11 Pro because I know the camera's supposed to be amazing on it. I thought I'd just do a quick demonstration, see what pictures we can take outside, get them loaded onto the printer, print it onto some uh, glossy paper and see what the results are. So our office is out in the middle of nowhere and we do have quite a lot of fields out the back. I'm gonna go and see what I can take a picture of, which is gonna be artistic. I'm not that artistic, I'll give it a go. At least it's not raining, windy, stormy like it has been. So, picking a tractor to take a picture of. Not really into tractors, but that should make a nice shot, I reckon, something like this. So now, picture taken, we're going to go back to the studio, um, but I'm just going to see how we do it, what complications there are, if any, um, and how easy it is. Right, so I've got my pictures, um, or picture of the tractor. I'm going to load it onto a USB stick, because um, it doesn't print by air print. I know the Canon Pro 1000 does print by air print, the Apple air print but we can't print directly from the iPhone, so I've got to load it from my iCloud onto the computer, onto the USB stick, and then put it on. We could print from the laptop from a driver. Um, that would be one way, but I just wanted to see a quick and easy way of printing straight from the phone to a USB stick in the printer, print, then we'll have a look at the results. Right, so I've got the picture of the memory stick. I'm gonna plug it into the Canon, load it directly from the control panel, and print. So uh, the USB slot's just on the side here. In we go. E there we go. And then it gives a uh, display of the files. Don't know why it just quickly quit out of there. So 272, image one, let's have a look at it. Yeah, that's it. It's actually quite impressive, the display on that. It's nice. Uh, settings, colour, perceptual, yeah. Print quantity, quality, mm, high, paper source, auto select, margin, bordered, rotate, enlarge, fit paper, no. We want same size. Apply. And stop. No. So that will now run straight from the USB stick and see what it comes out like. So we're seeing the first bits of the print coming out. Always feel like one of those people that sit by the oven watching their dinner cook when I do this. I wonder how many hours I've wasted watching print. Probably quite a lot. Right, so it's printed. And to be honest, really pleased with the results. I mean, we did no color calibr calibration, no profiling, anything, literally straight from the phone onto a USB stick and print. And it's come out really, really nice. And what would be nice is to do a comparison against the original image, which hopefully I'll put on the screen now. compared to the actual printed image. Well, I know, obviously, when we're filming it, it's gonna be look different, but yeah, really pleased with the results. So it just shows you what you can produce, 10, 15 minutes, straight away, from your camera, onto the Canon Pro. Great bit of kit.